So how do we build a state-of-the-art news site in WordPress? The best way to do this is to show you an example of one that we just launched for Middlebury College. It's called the Middlebury Campus, found at middlebarycampus.com, and they publish their news weekly, every Friday. And what we have here on the site are two things. We have their news articles, which are driven by our issue and plugin, which creates a custom post type called articles, and that's what you see up top here. And then we have their blog, which is handled through a slideshow uh, down here called the Campus Current. The navigation up top simply pulls you to articles that are in a category. So there's a news category. If I click on news, what it does is it brings up the template for the news page. And the same goes for all the other categories. If I hop into sports, we get the, the featured sports category articles for this issue. So let's go back to the home page. In this case, they have eight positions available that they simply check off and to determine which article goes where on the home page for that particular issue. They're feeding Twitter uh, conversation under thoughts and they're feeding uh, comments throughout the website under discussion. And by the way, the comments are driven through the Discuss plugin, which is really excellent, and you should use it. If we go to the bottom, we have a footer here that's actually loaded with functionality. And I'll take you through it really quickly. If uh, you click the About link, uh, it gives you a little blurb on what Middlebury Campus is about. But it also links you to the staff, which, which are the authors of the news. And what this is doing is actually pulling from the user, the WordPress user database, and it's feeding in any articles that that particular author has written right into their profile. And of course, you can, you can flesh this profile out quite a bit more, but right now, the articles are coming in under each author or user. All right, let's go back to the bottom. If we go into archives, we have the ability to go into back issues. So the last three back issues are presented, October 11, October 4, and September 26. If I hit the full archives link, what it does is it brings me to the archives page, which brings up all the issues that have been published. And the way the plugin works is when an, a new issue goes live on the home page, the old issue automatically shows up on the archive page. And in this case, they're also adding the ability to download a PDF link. So if I, let's uh, pull up volume 111, number 5. What it does is it brings up that issue and all the articles in that issue forward. And then you can jump into any uh, article in a, in a past issue. Okay, let's go back down to the bottom. Let's go to resources. This is uh, a simple yet uh, very little use function. Your, your blog role links that are uh, available in your dashboard um, are a great way to publish resources. So um, the way this is set up is any links that are published in that blog role simply show up here in the footer and they're calling it and using it as a resources section. The contact form is simply a gravity forms uh, form. If you don't use it, I highly recommend it. Uh, especially since it stores all your contacts in a, in a database right online that you have access to in case your email blows up. And then we have your uh, social media links here. Uh, and if you want to send uh, subscribe to the mailing list, uh, the email subscribe function is handled through MailChimp, which again, I also highly recommend. Okay, let's go back up to the top and take a look. You might be wondering what these gray boxes are up top. Well, these are advertising slots. They have, uh, it's a new site. They haven't uh, dropped in their advertising. They have a, a uh, in-house ad system that they're going to put in place here. Uh, you could simply uh, use widgets for uh, ads or you could use OIO Publisher, which we like to use for advertising as well. Uh, the search function, if you click this little search box here, you can search in this field for anything. Um, there was uh, some articles on the Dalai Lama. I'll do a search for that. And it, what it's doing is it's pulling articles and blog posts uh, and putting them all uh, into the search results. Okay, let's jump into an article page, shall we? And I'm going to switch back to my normal profile here. And what we have here is the layout for the article page. Now, I mentioned the Discuss plugin. That plugin lets you do quite a lot of things. One, if there are any comments against an article, the comment ticker uh, will show up here. Right now, there's zero comments on this article. Uh, but as soon as somebody dumps in a comment, 
this changes to one, second comment, two, etc., which gives the reader an idea of what kind of discussion is going on against an article. That's pretty neat. If you go down to the bottom and actually leave a comment, you can log into uh, a variety of, of different uh, accounts, uh, Facebook or Google, etc., to drop in your comment. Of course, that, that presents a spam filter for the site, so they're not getting uh, spam comments. And all the comments are still stored in uh, WordPress. And of course, you can, and Discuss does this very nicely, leverage the discussions and feed those around the site as you like. Now, share this story. We use the Jetpack plugin uh, from WordPress or from Automatic uh, to uh, provide all the social media and sharing uh, links. Uh, it's a great plugin. It works very well. Uh, for instance, if you want to email something, it's a quick email box that pulls up. If you want to print a page, uh, I haven't found a plugin that does a better job formatting a page for print than Jetpack does. And cancel. Related stories, we use the yet another related post plugin to generate the re related stories uh, for the article. Discuss does another thing too very nicely at the bottom. What it does is that if there are any articles that do have some discussions going, it drops them below uh, the article or the uh, post. So here you have five comments, here you have two comments, one comment, four comments. And that brings the discussion forward very nicely too. So this is how we put together the Middlebury campus for Middlebury College. What we found is that you could put together a really a very state-of-the-art news site using WordPress and a few a handful of plugins and build a site that can compete with the big news sites for a lot less money.